Well, here's what's going on today. I've got grafting today. I, my crew went back to California yesterday, and we're just about to get our season wrapped up. I've got uh, to go up toward the Canadian border tomorrow and do a little job, and then my season will be kind of winding down, and I'm real happy about that because now I get to play with some other projects. I don't know, I may pull this and pile out of here and pull this old hearse in. Um, it's got an exhaust leak. One side you got the bolts broke, but it's kind of interesting how those manifolds fit up there, the way those heads are. Those manifold bolts go right through. So I suppose a guy could drill those and put a nut on the back side. And uh, I mean, this is, this is part, of the, part of the head here. And the manifold just bolts up, and you could put a bolt all the way through there and put a nut on the back, I guess. So, I've got a, I'm going to work on that. This one's got the bolts broke off, so it's leaking pretty bad. And then the other manifold, the guy <coughs> I bought it from, told me that it's cracked. And uh, I, you know, the other side's so loud, you really can't tell what's going on here. But anyway, I think I've located one. This guy's got a junkyard up about halfway between here and Canada. He thinks he has one. And I'm going to be up that way tomorrow. So, I'm going to stop and see him. See what we can come up with. Can't come up with a manifold. Uh, they seem to break all the time on the driver's side for some reason. So, uh, a little harder to find this one than is the other side. But if we can't come up with one, shoot, I can get header plates for 42 bucks, and I'll just run zoomies out through the top of the hood, through the kind of hole of the hood whatever. Anyway, I had a comment on this thing the other night. guy uh, looking at my video said it's 72, not a 1970. And I've looked at all the pictures of 72's and I believe he's right. The title says 1970. Registration says 1970. But I'm just wondering if when he bought this thing maybe there was a lost title. He had to apply for a lost title and I got some might have been some confusion there but I'm sure it's 72 because back in the old days we used to look on the taillight lens to see what year the car was when I was a kid and it was always in the lens and uh, so this one says 71 and so sometimes if they had uh, lenses left over from one year they might do put you some of them for the next year if they didn't change the body style but they certainly would not have put 71 lenses in a 1970. So I'm thinking that the guy's right. This is a 72. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I just could care less. <laughs> but anyway, that's a little story on the caddy. So that's my project today. I'm kind of waiting to hear from an insurance adjuster. I had a guy working on my little red Chevy 73 pickup, the one I put the cam in. That truck is totally restored from bumper to bumper was just absolutely flawless. I had a guy just dialing in the carburetor and setting the timing, getting everything just tuned in real nice for me because I don't have time. I've, I've been working so much and well he got in an accident and uh, wrecked my truck. My little baby that I've had 25 years and you know I, I think he felt worse about it than I did. I know he was having a bad day and it was hard for him to call me and tell me he wrecked my little truck and so, you know, it'll be all right. It's just rubber and metal and glass, and thank God nobody got hurt. So uh, we're just grateful for that. And we're going to move on. But I am interested to see what the insurance adjuster is going to say. So uh, I'm going to stick around today and try to meet up with them. Anyway, there we go. A little bit of work on the caddy today. Maybe I'll shoot another video when I get her quietened down, running nice. Okay, later.